Trudy, please. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be recreating the uh, Season 1 Shopkins character Curly and I've gone ahead and already made one here but I just wanted to show you how I put it all together so for this you'll need a light purple clay and what I ended up doing was painting this um, a more um, more of a purpley color but this color works too you can really make it any color that you want. So we'll start with a ball of purple clay about that size for the base of the brush. You'll also need the two little feet. And then we'll also need a handle for the brush, as well as the bristles that are yellow on the back. So you'll need some yellow clay for that. Then we'll need some brown, and I just rolled it out into a log shape. And this is for the little lock of hair that wraps around here. And then also two little pieces here for the hands. And then also some pink for the bow. So I rolled out two little small pieces here um, for each side of the bow. And then a little tiny piece for the center of the bow. And then two little pieces for the ribbon that hang down. So this is all the clay that you'll need. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I made this little guy here. And I should also mention this was requested on YouTube by the user Alexa Medina. So thank you very much for that. So what I'm going to do here is place the handle right on top of the brush. Or onto the base, I guess, of the clay in order to make the brush. And I'm going to use one of my little tools to make a little circle in the top. So again, I just went off of a picture because I don't have this Shopkin character. So you'll want a shape about that size. So I'm just going to kind of push on the back to make a little indent. And I'm going to take some yellow clay and make it into an oval shape and I'm going to use one of my razor tools here and I'm just going to cut even slices right across the clay so you'll have lines going that way and then you'll just do it for the opposite side so you'll have a pattern something like that Okay, and that will just go right on the back. So that's the little the brush. So once you get that on there, you can push your feet together. And we'll pop that right there on the, the bottom of the purple. So then you have the back of the brush like so. And I'm going to go ahead and assemble my bow. So I'm going to flatten out one of the little balls that I made. And I'm just going to pinch it and turn it into a triangle. Okay, so I'll show you by just taking a ball, just flatten it out on your finger. Okay, and then just pinch to the sides to make a little triangle shape there. And take your little tiny bow, or little tiny ball of clay here, and just stick that right in the center. So we have our little, our little tiny bow. So I'm just going to go ahead and place that right on there. And we'll take the little, uh, little logs that I rolled out before and pinch those down and I'm just going to make a little indent at the bottom so it looks something like that and we'll just stick that right on there and then we'll do the same for the other one flatten it down and then pinch it out so then we have a little ribbon and what I might do actually I'm just going to take the bow 
part off and it may be best to put the little ribbons on first and then put the bow on top. Just do whatever is easiest for you. So tiny, I can hardly see. So just gotta fix that there. Now I do wear glasses sometimes, but I'm terrible at not wearing them <laughs> like I should. Sometimes when you're working with this, these little pieces of clay, it's kind of hard to see because I'm so far away. It looks closer in the camera, but so anyways. So there's our little bow. And then all that we need to do here is just put the arms on and then wrap the little piece of hair around. So I'm going to leave one of the hands sticking out and the other one is just popped off there to the side. So now I'm going to take a piece of brown and just wrap it around the handle. Oh. And this kind of broke off a little bit but that's okay. It's sort of um, this brown clay that I'm using is a bit drier. I think it's just because I've had it longer. So of course you don't have to use brown, you can use yellow or even red. So just choose whichever whichever color you want to want to make it. So I'm just going to wrap it around the handle so it comes up and around. And then I'll just pinch some off there. And then I'll just leave a little piece hanging out so it kind of curls up a bit. So there is the little curly character. And then you can go in and add little details with the brush itself. So I think it's all set to go. So I will bake this um, again for 275 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. Alright, so once you have it baked and it's all set to go, I'm just going to go in with my paintbrush and some black paint and just make the little eyes here. So we just have one little eyelash up at the top. And then it looks like there's a little bit of white where the teeth are. So I'm just going to take some white. And then just make a little, a little smile there. So this is our completed curly character. And my thumb is super dirty, so. <laughs> Just disregard that. <laughs> Alright, so there is the little curly character. And there's the back of the brush. So I did glaze that there and I glazed the bow and the hair. So the only thing I didn't glaze was the purple part. But um, I think I'll probably just leave it the way that it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and let me know in the comments below. And stay tuned for more Shopkins tutorials. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.